Los tacos. Every single night on the corner of Manchester and Town Avenues, you're going to find Oscar Lozano serving the delicious tacos he's known for. So we're just working for our necessities, you know, um, giving the best service to our clients. As Wednesday night fell, it was nearing closing time when Lozano's taco stand, Tacos El Oscarín, became the target of brazen thieves. Lozano says they took around 50 to $100. Now he pointed me with a gun. At that point, I'm like, What's up? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give my life off for, you know, for resist, resisting for, uh, with, you know, with money. This is the seventh time that thieves hit a taco stand in South Los Angeles since May 1st. It's the second time this month that Tacos de los Carin is terrorized. Two times in a matter of a month, so like, sadly, you know, it happened to us and it happened to other, other, every other uh, vendor. Less than a mile south from Tacos de los Carin, Vicente Barrales has been serving tacos at Tacos Los Chemas for nearly a decade. Their stand was targeted by robbers more than a week ago. Vicente says the robbers put a gun to his co-worker's head, told them to hand over the money or he would be shot. Left without a choice, employees at Tacos Los Chemas handed over their hard-earned money and any valuables they had. Vicente estimates robbers took off with close to $700. Make sure you guys come over here, man, support your street vendors all day. And street vendors are often left to self-advocate while making a living. Jesus, known by his advocate name, South Central Audit, is a roofer by day and street vendor advocate every other hour of the day. He's one of five volunteers who are now providing security to taco vendors who were robbed. It's dark in the street, I'm not gonna lie to you, it is very dark. But trust me, we're going to be out here now. We're going to make it aware that we're going to be in the city, man, protecting our street vendors no matter what. And even with an extra pair of eyes to watch their backs, taqueros like Lozano still wonder why their hard work is being targeted. What, like, gives them the reason to just take away money for people that are, like, that are defenseless at the, in the situation. Because in a city like Los Angeles, where the taco is synonymous to its DNA, the well-being of those who prepare them is valuable to the makeup of our community.